Okay, so welcome to a, another video tutorial. Um, this one is how you can create your own digital signage solution. Um, we're going to be using some software from Pi Signage um, for the player. Uh, it also enables you to have, uh, when you create an account with this um, solution, you get two players free included with your um, subscription so you don't need to pay any money if you've only got a um, very small solution so in my case I've got a single screen so I've created an account um, created um, some signage and then pushed it out to the player so this first video is going to walk you through how you can download the image write it to the SD card install it in your Raspberry Pi and then um, boot up the system to make sure that it's all working So the first thing that we want to do is we actually want to download the software. Um, so it comes in two versions. There's a version that's just been released for the Pi 4. Um, in our instance, we're actually using a Pi 3 um, machine. So we're going to go and download the software. It's an image file. And what you need to do is then write it to the SD card. So to do that, we're going to go to the download section, which will take you to the GitHub repository. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the two versions here. So 241 is for the Pi 3B and 261 is the Pi 4 support. But we're going to be using the Pi 3B, which is robust and tried and tested. So we're going to click on the link there and we're going to save the image to somewhere suitable. So I'm going to stick that in my downloads directory. I've created a directory here called Pi Signage. So um, I'm, I don't need to download this again. Um, once you've downloaded it, it will create the zip file and you then need to extract the zip file, uh, which will create you a folder and inside the folder you'll have the, uh, the image. So as you can see, here's the folder that we've downloaded. Inside is the image and we now need to write that to um, the SD card. So I am using uh, an 8 gig card. You shouldn't need any more than that because um, unless you're going to be using huge files, but in our case we're just going to be using uh, HD sized images. So that's 1920 by 1080 pixels. So it doesn't take up additional too much additional storage. With the Pi signage solution you get 2 gig of free storage. So um, as long as you've got uh, um, sufficient space you'll be able to fill up your playlists and use that on your media player. So as you can see here we've got our SD card um, installed in the card writer. Um, this is an 8 gig card. Just wanted to show you that it's completely unformatted. There's no partitions on it. It's a completely blank card. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to use a piece of software called um, Win32 Disk Imager, if you're running on Windows, that is. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the device that we're going to write to is the correct one. So in my case, it's the E drive. And then I'm going to go off and I'm going to select my um, Raspberry Pi signage image. And then I'm going to write that to the disk. That will go off and create the relevant partitions. Okay, so that's finished now. Um, that took about 10 minutes to write. We can close that down. And we can go and make sure that... Yep, that's correct. So we should have two partitions, H partition and the boot partition on drive E, which is good. So let's get that installed in the Pi and we'll run through the setup on there. So here we've got the Raspberry Pi. This is uh, doing its initial boot up. Um, what happens is you'll find that it does its initial boot up, some configuration, and then it will reboot again. So what it's doing here is just loading and configuring all of the software. It'll then do another reboot shortly. And there we go. And then that should boot up solidly this time. Okay. 
So that's it, now it does its auto login. And then it should go through the Pi signage startup. So this takes uh, a minute or so. And it should boot into the welcome screen. So what you want to do is make a note of that player ID. We're going to need that later. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to carry on and then go into um, our Wi-Fi setup using Control N or F6. So what we need to do is we need to now set everything up. So the first thing that we want to do is uh, hit F6 to take us into this uh, configuration menu. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, keyboard that I've got directly connected into the Pi to set this up, so I'm going to use uh, Wi-Fi to uh, to connect. So the first thing we want to do is to come down to the Wi-Fi config, and we want to enter um, your Wi-Fi name. So this is a manual Wi-Fi name, and in my instance, I'm using I think it's BT Hub. Get my phone. Three. Okay, and then the Wi-Fi key. Uh, and it's not a hidden Wi-Fi network, so we say no. And that will then reconfigure the system. And I'm not gonna configure the config server. I am gonna configure the DNS server, so that's fine actually. So that's set to Google. Um, don't need access point set up. Okay, so that is all there is to it basically. So it should now be connected to the um, Wi Fi when it reboots. Usually does a couple of reboots. So don't be alarmed if. Uh, if you start seeing it loading and then it does another reboot, that's absolutely normal. Okay, so the next thing that you want to make a note of is your, um, your player ID, because we're going to need to register this on um, the Pi signage website so the first thing that you need to do obviously is to create an account so we'll walk through that shortly so now you've got your player up and running the next thing that we want to do is we will need to add that to our cloud system so you want to create yourself an account so you do that using the sign up sign up option here I'll just show you the pricing model so the pricing model um, as you can see here is is not particularly um, uh, cheap for, for the subscription or the license but as I said before you get two licenses that are available to you um, in your free account so once you've created your login you can log in onto the website and this will take you to your portal so as we can see here the first thing that we need to do is to register our player so to do that um, we need to click on the right hand side here register a player and we're going to say we want to use the options that are managed at pysignage.com because we're not going to be using our open source server to manage it we're actually going to use the cloud system because because of the free licenses so the 16 digit code that we saw on the screen earlier is this one here once we've entered that we can assign it to a group so we're going to assign it to a default group and we're going to specify our time zone and the name of the player um, so I'm using it for the church uh, for the church signage player and whereabouts that's based UK 
set this to, uh, to whatever you need to set it to. And then we're going to register the player. That will then go off and you should see your screen change. Our screen's gone blank for the minute. Um, now if there's any new software you'll notice that uh, you get this up arrow here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually click that and that will then force the, uh, the Pi signage player to upgrade. That will iron out any bugs and system crashes on the download version. Uh, it basically brings it up to speed and stabilizes things a little bit more. So what we'll do is we'll wait until our player's up and running until we've got a green option here. I'll just walk you through the dashboard. So the dashboard, as you can see, um, it's now reporting that we've got one player online. Um, the software version is 2.4.1. Um, actually, once we've upgraded, that will bring it up to 2.4.3, which is uh, a, a lot more stable. So we're going to go back to our players and we're going to click on our upgrade button there we go so do you want to upgrade from 241 to 263 yes we do because that's going to stabilize everything and then as you can see on the screen um, that sends a signal down and it will update itself okay so that is now fully upgraded um, you will find that this little symbol will disappear shortly. So that's all there is to it. Um, so that has basically set up your Raspberry Pi to be able to do uh, signage. I'm gonna walk you through um, what we've got on the dashboard here. So the first thing that you wanna do is to create yourself some assets. Um, they can be images, text, whatever you want. So all I've done in, in this instance for our local church is to produce um, a se selection of pictures that are HD, so 1920 by 1080 size, um, and I've added those into a playlist, as you can see here. So I've created a new playlist, and I've added the assets into that playlist. Now, if I want to change it, um, let's go in and say, okay, well, let's um, remove one of these. So when you do that, it drops it out of the playlist, and you then need to redeploy to your um, signage player. So what I've done here is I've actually put some timings on this one so that you can see the first screen stays on for 10 seconds, second screen 10 seconds, third screen 20 seconds, fourth screen 10 seconds. I'm actually gonna put that one back on and we have that one set for 20 seconds as well. To get it down to your Pi player, you will click on um, deploy onto the default, which is the default um, um, group and then in my group I've got a default playlist you can select it here so in our instance I'm using the St Mary's playlist and then all I'm going to do because I wanted to send it straight to the TV I'm going to send down my uh, use the deploy option and that will then send it to the player and then on the player the player will reset once it's got its new playlist and then start um, scrolling through so that's all there is to it basically. Uh, if you found that useful, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment in the description because we do answer all of the comments that you guys uh, leave. So if you've got any questions, then by all means just ask us and we'll, we'll get that answered for you. Um, but in the meantime, just like to say thank you very much for watching.